Hello and welcome back. I'm David Bianco. Today we're going to be talking about the art of vinyl transparency here on the Sound of Safe and Sound, Texas. Hello and welcome back. Today, I've been thinking about a topic that is something that often isn't talked about now in the middle of all of the discussions about uh, audiophile vinyl and the MoFi controversy, as it were. And that is not only what is on the record to make what we listen to, meaning the sound that we listen to and how enjoyable that is, but what also is there that isn't there. And I'm talking about noise. The noise floor on a record in terms of the sound that we hear and the extra noise that's brought into the picture, or in this case, uh, the audio, is in fact something that has been uh, one of the elements that has made MoFi unique, uh, in the beginning at least. And that is that they have used compounds in the vinyl, which were what they called virgin vinyl. Uh, there have been a lot of names for things and trademarks and improvements and things of that nature over the decades, literally. But at the end of the day, they all had one goal in mind, and that is to reduce the amount of surface noise that you hear when the needle is passing through the groove. And that's a really important element because obviously, being a physical media like it is, uh, vinyl can be noisy, and uh, I'm sure we've all pulled out records and heard in the lead-in grooves. You could hear the uh, the stylus surfing through the groove, so to speak, and you just hoped that the music was loud enough to cover it up. So, ironically, virgin vinyl has been translucent is a word that's used, transparent, and why I say this is when you hold that vinyl up to the light, you can see the light behind it. It's so pure. And this has been a kind of a trademark of good vinyl and, and knowing that you had good vinyl. And uh, theoretically, then, of course, that would be quieter vinyl. And it has been. Uh, that is an art, uh, that, that particular thing that is taken out of the element of sound. And I think it's it's equally important because there have been many times that I've reviewed uh, an album and looked at it and compared it. And sonically, the differences weren't maybe all that great, but for sure, the quietness of the vinyl was. As a matter of fact, one of the hallmarks of Japanese pressings has always been that for many of them, most of them, uh, through the decades, and there have been exceptions, uh, their vinyl generally is quieter than what we see here in the U.S. on, on the uh, open market, so to speak, in a standard pressing that comes out. So it, it has been something that we've chased in the sense of wanting to get a quieter record. Now, ironically, this, this word transparency recently, of course, has been tossed around a lot towards MoFi in terms of their information and the methodologies that they use. So transparency can be a great thing in both cases. But it's ironic that the same word is used, and, and that's what struck me. Well, no sooner did that happen, and... Uh, Earlier today, I started to see on the MoFi site that there were titles where they, in fact, were starting to show what the mastering chain was or is, depending on if it's still in production, of their products. So this is the beginning of MoFi, quote, making good, unquote, on what they promised. Now, I don't think there's been any press release or any splash in the media about this. Uh, I think it's kind of being done incrementally. Obviously, they're bringing these out into the titles. Uh, some have uh, the information, some don't. Uh, and I'm sure that over the days ahead, we may see that they uh, open up the information even more 
uh, more titles, that is. And uh, so it's a little sparse right now. But they are beginning the process. And I think that even though the process isn't really as quick as we'd like <clears throat> and isn't as uh, announcement-like, it is, in fact, a start the kimono kind of being opened up a bit. Uh, and, and I think that that's where we started with our expectations. And that's starting to happen. So the whole vital community has really been abuzz with this. And I'm not telling anything uh, that you haven't already heard. But I did want to bring to the conversation the fact that we have to give MoFi some credit for what they have done. They have, over time, been a leader in providing a quieter surface and compounds that do that. And uh, they continue that now today with super vinyl uh, moniker that they have for an even improved surface on the record and an even quieter listening experience. And so that's part of the mix. That's part of what they bring to the party. That's part of why it costs more to buy their product. And so I just really wanted to bring in that aspect of it because I know we've all been rightly focused on the mastering chain and what comes through. But I also know that we listen to the music and that groove is there for that needle to ride through and make as much noise as it can. But these compounds help reduce that. And for that, I think we got to say thanks to MoFi for being a leader in that in the industry. All I'm trying to do is recognize that there's more to this situation than simply what we've said so far and open it up and say it is an element that has added value to the market and it has in fact been something that we've benefited from. So that's my take on it. As always, really would appreciate it very much if you'd subscribe to the channel. Many subscribers these days, over 700. Thank you very much. If you would also hit that like button and comment anything you might want to talk about related to this or any future topics you might wish, please let me know. So for now, I'll say goodbye and thank you for watching The Sound of Safe and Sound Texas. Goodbye, everybody.